At Compass we have a very high priority on education. Um, many of the foster carers that are uh, involved in Compass have specifically chosen us because of the priority that we give education. And we're very proud of the fact that 97% um, of our children are in school that's higher than the na national average. Um, additionally, um, our GCSE results are again higher than the national average by a considerable amount. And uh, uniquely, for those children that aren't in school, we do offer some specialist support and provision uh, for the 3% that are not able to deal with formal classroom education in the form of experiential education. It makes a huge difference, I think, because for them, um, they benefit because it's one-to-one. -one. Uh, they benefit because it gives them the routine that they do need, the routine of, of being like in school, but they're uh, with you. Um, it builds their self-confidence, self-esteem. Um, it empowers them really, I think, because we all know how important education is. Education is the key, really. It opens doors for young people. And so anything that we can do with an E which builds that bridge back for them into full-time education, that, that's, that's the crucial thing, really. Um, and if we can make it fun, and most, most of them do say they enjoy it and they find it fun. They're learning in a fun way. Compass is innovative in delivering experiential education to looked after children. Um, currently we have approximately half of our foster carers specifically trained to deliver experiential education to looked after children and this means that children that are not able to cope with formal classroom education for any reason are given the opportunity to work with a carer where they have a day of experiences that um, are essentially outside of the classroom but contain uh, a useful educational content to them. Uh, this means that we can tailor the work um, specifically to the needs of the child. It could be as something as simple as preparing a cake, cooking a pizza, and into that we bring uh, the mathematical element and um, purchasing, weighing, measuring, uh, health and food safety, hygiene and that sort of thing, or maybe building a bird box, um, and the practical element, and at the end of the day the children write a, a short evaluation of what they've done, and uh, that's where we manage to build in the educational content of it. But the prime reason is to develop the self-esteem and build the confidence of the children. I work with a Polish girl for two to three days a week for, for around five months. We focused on her cultural background, so I learned a lot about the Polish um, tradition from her and from research. It was Easter time while I was supporting her, so we made some Polish Easter eggs, which I'd researched and found out all the things we needed to get for them. She wanted to make a Polish cheesecake, which was called Cernik. So we researched the recipe. We made the recipe on the day, but it didn't taste like the one she remembered. So we went out to a Polish shop and found a packet mix. And when we brought it home, the instructions were in Polish. So she translated the Polish words into English. So we were able to follow the instructions the following week. Um, which sort of then related back to the educational element, so it was helping her with her uh, language skills and English um, and literacy work. Well, I learn a lot as well from what I do. I'd seen a young person here who's passionate about something that you wouldn't necessarily have guessed, so a teenage boy actually really enjoying Roald Dahl, that perhaps wouldn't be a lesson that I'd have thought of doing, and became a huge project. Um, so to see that and, and go with their ideas and um, nurture what they like to do um, is just brilliant the effect that it has on them seeing their passion for it their desire to come back and do more um, is just makes it all worthwhile it makes a huge difference to the lives of the children in Compass Care um, so far we've delivered over 1300 experiential education days and at the end of each day the children are requested if they would write an evaluation of how their days been and uh, the positive comments are really heartwarming and many of the children write that it would be not be possible for their previous teachers to believe the things they've achieved. Um, children have written things like, if my teacher could see me now, they'd be lying on the floor having a fit. Or if you told me before today that I was going to do this mathematical lesson, I'd have told you to jog on and other comments like that. As the saying goes, the, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. That was very true of the young person who came to us um, over seven years ago now. Um, she was very poorly, uh, she had been in hospital, she wasn't able to be in school. Um, so she went from that position um, to uh, gaining first some GCSEs, 
then that was the um, springboard for her to go in to do A-levels and she came out with three A-levels, which again was a first for Compass, a Compass young person. Um, and then from there to university doing a BSc Honours, uh, which last summer she uh, gained a 2-1 classification, um, another first for a Compass young person. But it all began with that first step, that first step of education, the experiential education she had right at the beginning. It means a great deal for the carers as well because they are rewarded by seeing the difference that they can make to the lives of the children. They get a great deal of personal satisfaction and professional satisfaction. Um, on top of that, they also get a professional qualification in the delivery of experiential education, which carries with it a national accreditation, and that's very useful for their continuing professional development. I love fostering, I love uh, having children around me, I like the feeling of being able to give children who haven't had a good start in life a better chance. In essence, by giving children the opportunity to engage in educational activities, we're helping them to have their childhood back. Can you give a child a childhood? Can you give a child a childhood? Can you give a child a childhood?